Welcome back to Q&A Tuesday, everyone. I got a request on Instagram asking me if I have the Primula Cold Brew coffee pot. And I do. So they wanted to know if I could show the pieces, how it works, um, because I guess they're shopping around for a cold brew, um, you know, coffee pot. So this is the name. I'll bring this in close so you could see it. Oops, upside down. This is actually on the lid. Primula Cold Brew. This is the pot that it comes with, with a little booklet inside the box. Can't show you the box because I'm pretty sure I disposed of the box. I got this um, two years ago from Uncle Louie, who, God rest his soul, is not with us any longer. Um, so this is the pot. It's inside the box. You get a filter. Let me show you the inside of the filter. That you can just wash by hand or you can um, put it in the dishwasher. This is all dishwasher safe. This is the round ring that the filter sits in. It has a little lock. And if you spin it, you will actually see there's the port spout. So let me show you how this works. So what you're going to get is the pot, the little lid, the part that holds the filter, and the filter. That's it. That's the part right there that you are going to get in your box. Okay, now how does it work? I'm going to try to do this one-handed until I absolutely have to sit you down. You basically just take the round ring, put it on your pot like that, and then you take the filter and you put the filter in. Like I said, hopefully I can do this with one hand. And you turn the filter until you feel it will snap in. And it will lock like that and it won't move. Pretty simple. That's where we're at right now. Now, if you're not familiar with cold brew is, it is coffee that is honestly brewed with cold water and you let it sit in the fridge for 24 hours i think sometimes this one you can at least get one cup out of here for an iced coffee um depending on i guess whatever coffee that you use um but normally this has to sit in your fridge for 24 hours and yeah this is the lid you would just put the top lid on and snap it in so it locks so this is exactly what it looks like again this is the um i keep doing this upside down this is the uh actually i was right the first time just trying to get it up close so you could see uh the primula um target it was like 21.99 when i got it i just looked online and I think it's $11.99 now, so that's like a bargain and a half. So I am going to have to sit you down now because I showed you all the parts, how they go in. This is the lid that you just take off. And then this is the filter. You can pull the insert completely out. If you want to take your filter out, but that's not what we're doing today. I'm going to show you how I make my cold brew. So let me sit you in a spot, folks, and hope that you can see like that. Okay, you have an option here, two things. You can use whatever coffee you want, technically speaking. I tend to use espresso in that. I will buy espresso like this if it's available, which is already ground. Um, and then I like to keep espresso in mason jars or I keep lots of coffee in a baggie or you can get it in the beans, which this is organic espresso blend right here. Can you see that? There it goes. Okay. And what do they mean by blend? It's rich, thick body with notes of bittersweet chocolate and that is why i did get that but i mean the choice is yours always remember something 
whether you use beans or you use a can or yeah um, I store it this way let's see so always remember this you're gonna use a lot of coffee it takes a lot of coffee in that filter believe it or not so um, yeah I usually always like to grind my beans um, this was fresh beans. I've already ground them in advance so you didn't have to listen to the noise. And nothing special other than, I think this is by Mr. Coffee. Yeah, it is. There is the grinder that I use for my coffee beans. So I just wanted to show you that real fast. Okay, let's show you how you make some cold brew. So let's see what's left in here. It's not... A whole lot so we might as well finish that up basically what you're gonna do and I want to make sure you can see this I'm gonna dump this one but normally I would not normally do that but there's just a little bit left in here so I'm gonna dump it into the filter waste not want not okay let me show you what little all the way down there if you can see that and even in the light it barely touched a filter <laughs> so get ready if you want a cold brew coffee because um it does require and i may have to put my hand in the way i'm sorry guys let me just fix this real quick um yeah just be prepared because it takes a little bit of coffee to fill it. So, I am using the one that I already ground. And I'm just going to go in and fill it. As a matter of fact, I can hear what... I always keep tags inside my mason jars. And... Let me show you. This is the coffee that's in the mason jar and it comes in the vacuum sealed pack. They're just all the beans. So yeah, um, just to show that these, uh, the coffee I'm using right now is from the bean. But I have like this habit of always wanting to keep the tags and things, I guess, in case I forget. Anyway, let's go back to filling this up. You just want to fill the espresso up. Pretty close to the top. I say one more. And this was a full jar when I started. This is where we are at with the coffee, right to the top. And then this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take filtered water, bottled water, move that back so you can see. You're gonna start lightly pouring the cold water across the top. And why do I say slowly? Because it does this. Put you back in the light and that's why you just I'm gonna move this over here a little bit better lighting and that is why I'm gonna just tighten this a smidge um, and that is why you just have to take your time with adding your water into the pot and it will start slowly dripping down from the bottom. I sometimes like to take a knife. I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm going to set you right there. You should be able to see. This is how I'm having my coffee this morning. So if you see me in my jammies, don't mind. Okay. I usually like to take a butter knife and just give it a little 
smushy, smushy. A little burst of water comes out first. So be prepared for that. And then I just pour more cold water. Start getting it down. Maybe even stir it a little bit. Just to get it going. Taste not what not either on your filter. And that is kind of the process, is to just keep going. And give it some time. Let me show you. Even though it looks really light right now, there it is going down. This is what it's looking like on the bottom. Can you see that? Let me see if I could zoom in for you. It's already going down to the bottom. It's just going to take some patience because you want to wait till the water goes down and then you keep filling it up with cold water. Once that's completely done and filled um, which will take a few, which I'm not going to make you suffer. I'll finish getting it filled and then I'll bring you guys right back. Okay. Let me show you. You can see that water level. Let me hit another light. Sorry guys about the lighting in here today. There's how full we are and it is still running. Now, a couple tips and tricks that I have for you. This is what I do. Um, I think espresso is a little expensive, but amazing. So what I do is I will pour some into a glass over ice. And then this goes in your refrigerator. Like I'm going to pour some over ice just so you can see the color difference. Um, this will get really dark in like 24 hours. Um, you could leave the filter in there with the espresso beans as long as you're going to add more water to the top of it. And then you can just put it back into the fridge. Now, my second word of advice is if you're going to have one every day or if you're going to continuously keep reusing your espresso beans, that's fine. I don't recommend, um, cause I've done it. I forgot about the filter and left it in with the espresso and it molds. So when you have a full pitcher or, you know, you're done, make sure, I think it usually lasts, honestly, from what I noticed, like two weeks and that's me constantly following it, you know, cause you want to get all the best out of the espresso and yeah do not let the filter stay in there or it definitely will mold i'm trying to show you so what i could do is i'm going to let this one go down help it along this is why i use the back of a butter knife um everything is dishwasher safe love this little gadget because it's amazing. And like I said, it's dishwasher safe where you can wash it in the sink with hot soapy water. Just remember not to leave your filter in there for longer than I would say like a week or two. Just check it. If it's fine in a week, that's fine. If it's not fine in a week and you're not going to need any more, you have a full pitcher, just take it out. You can save the coffee grinds folks for your garden so even though i'm not supposed to do this let me sit you down a second so that i can grab a glass i'm gonna i think raise you up a minute let me see there we go okay i am going to get the lid so i'm going to give this another star around Just gonna remove my butter knife now. I am gonna grab myself a mason jar. 
need to put the lid on and make sure it's in a locked position. And then you want to be able to turn the machine to the pouring spout. When it's brewing and it's in the fridge, keep it closed off. What do you know what I mean by that? Just turn this part right here until you see the little slits. Let me put some ice in here. This may not come out that dark now. Actually, I just did it in a simple little glass. I'll pour some in here so you can see what this looks like already. Here is what it looks like already, which maybe on camera you're thinking, holy cow, that's really dark. Let this sit for 24 hours and this will be super dark and you can make your um, iced coffees. You can use the espresso for any other type of drink. But there it is and it hasn't even sat for 24 hours. So I'm gonna add more water since I just stole some out of there. And this is going to get turned off. You don't want the vents to be open while it's brewing. So right in here, where this nozzle is, our vents, it's closed. Uh, the pouring vents are over here. Keep them closed while you brew this for 24 hours. So I love this little gadget. That's why I was like, yay. This is a good one for me to be doing a Q&A on because I happen to love mine. Makes great um, iced coffees. Let me see if I have one handy because if I do, I will actually show you how. If not, I will have to go into my pantry and grab one. But I will show you how I make my iced coffees. Oh, here's one that's open. Cool. Okay. So with this, it's not going to be as strong. It's not as dark. I know it looks like it really is on camera, but it's not. So now I'm going to show you how I make my famous iced coffee. I take the mason jar with a lid. I always give it a little something because I'm usually klutzy like that. There's my pack. I'm just going to rinse mine out real quick. Nothing real dramatic. Rinse it out. We are going to fill this up with ice. It has to be like filled, filled up. Okay, here's the mason jar. I left like, well, that's about half at the ball line of ice. Let me move this back. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. There is the mason jar. Then what I do is take the coffee and I pour it right in over the ice. You can see that. It does look pretty dark already. But trust me, it gets really dark as the time goes on. And then what I like to do is I don't really use sugar in any of my coffee. If it's not a creamer, then I use sweetened condensed milk. So this is why I have a lid. Because I take a spoon. Doesn't matter what brand, buy whatever one that you want. And um, oh, mine's like ice cold. Okay, let me quickly go grab my other sweetened condensed milk. And I will show you how I do this. Okay, this is my favorite 
sweet and condensed milk. Sorry that I had a quick run. But my one that I just pulled out that I keep these little covers over the top of the lid. It's ice cold. Um, so anyway, sweet and condensed milk. I used that much coffee. Mason jar with ice. And then, you're going to think I'm nuts, but I like my iced coffee sweetened. And if you've ever had sweet and condensed milk, you can literally eat that out of the can. So, it gets a little messy and sticky, but it's okay. I try to do... Maybe like... Well, I'm going to pour it. I'm going to eyeball it this time. And I give it a little head start. i just giving it a quick stir. Because I can usually tell if it's going to be enough by just taking a sip. Okay. This is a big jar, so no worries. I'll be getting multitude amount of iced coffees out of this. So that's what it looks like. The sweet and condensed milk in there. I just think it's an amazing way of making it. And then I take half and half because I'm used to doing that. Reason being is because I not turn off my ugh. Anyway. I use half and half because when the coffee sits, the longer it sits, it's the stronger that it gets. So I add some half and half. Very simple. So for this Q&A Tuesday, I'm giving you the machine, how to use it, what comes with it. And then I'm showing you how to make a nice coffee. Put the lid on and then just shake it. So that the sweet and condensed milk gets all mixed in there. And then you could take a fancy little glass if you like. Open it up. It might look creamy, but don't forget the espresso is not extremely dark. Let's take a sip. Mmm. Amazing. Right there, iced coffee. So yeah, I hope that that was extremely helpful. Um, this is on the Primula. Let me just move you guys. This is on the Primula Cold Brew from Target. Money well spent. Um, so I showed you how to do it. You can do espresso beans. Like I said, the filter takes a lot of coffee grinds, uh, no matter what you do. Fill it up with cold water. I take a back of a butter knife after the first like three, four minutes, scrape it down and I just keep refilling it. There is where our fill line is right now. Let's take this lid off. If I can one hand it. There's the espresso with a little bit more water. And all I'll do is just top it off with some more. Put the lid back on. And this will go in the fridge for 24 hours. And this will be nice and dark. Okay, so I showed you what today's Q&A was. The Primula cold brew machine. Um, it's dishwasher safe. You can wash it with hot soapy water. I also showed you how I make uh, my iced coffee and that's with, it would be darker, um, but I, I told you it's not ready. It needs 24 hours. Um, and I just use ice um, espresso. That's what that is in there, espresso. I use uh, Eagle brand sweetened condensed milk, some half and half. And that is how I make my iced coffee, the cold brew. So I hope the information was informative. I did check 
um, Target. It is online at I think eleven ninety nine. Obviously, you have to buy the coffee beans or it already ground it separately. So I love it, guys. It stops me from going to any specialty uh, coffee shop. And now with everything going on, you can make your own cold brew at home. Put the um, grinds in it, cold water, and then stick it in your fridge 24 hours. It'll be ready the next day. That's why I rushed the recipe and it looks a little white and creamy. That's so that you can see how I make my iced coffee. So I usually will do mm, about two here with the espresso. It's about two, three tablespoons of the sweetened condensed milk and then half and half because I just like it extra creamy and filled with ice. I give it a good shake and that is it. So there you have it, guys. That is the Q&A Tuesday on the cold brew machine. I will try to leave the link um, or just write it that it's from Target, but I will show you the name again if I can lift this because now it's getting kind of heavy. Let me see. I'm going to just try to take it off. There it is. The Primula cold brew coffee pot. So that's what you want to type in. That's what you want to look up on Target. I'm suggesting Target because that is where I got mine. In. And yeah. So I hope this video was informative. Um, since the person that left the question is out shopping around. I think it's economically affordable. Works great. I haven't had a problem in it. And I've had it for over like two years. So Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Um, welcome to Q&A Tuesday. Anybody has any questions, please leave them down below and um, smash the like button. And yeah, I am like tickled over the views that my videos are getting and uh, my subscriber count. Uh, my goal was to get to 100 over a weekend. Weekend's not over. Um, well, it will be when you see this. The weekend will be over. Um, I am recording this on Sunday. You will see this on Tuesday. And yeah, my sub count looks pretty amazing. So God bless. Thank you everyone for subscribing. Um, this is a great community to be in. And yeah, if you have anything um, that you want to know how it works or do I own it? Do I have it? Hit me up. Bake a leg, let's dig in an Instagram, and I will give you, let me move this out of the way, I will give you a video on it. So, with that being said, uh, God bless everyone. I hope that you are all well, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.